Today, we will tell the story of the bikini climber who died while climbing a mountain for a selfie. Or the story of Sophia Chung, whose attraction for more and more dangerous selfies ended up making her lose her life. Here are 10 people who died for a selfie. At the beginning of 2021, Chao Kaomi is a 23-year-old Chinese girl who is literally living a dream. She is one of the most popular influencers on the social network Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok. Her 100,000 followers follow her stunning dance videos daily, but also her working days. Indeed, Chao Kaomi very often shares clips from her workplace, where we see her doing little choreographies from her crane cap. The fact that she documents her daily work life pleases her subscribers, and like any self-respecting influencer, she only wants to satisfy her fans. So last Tuesday, July 20th at 5.40 p.m., her workday is almost over when she decides to broadcast a live, as usual, from her cabin. At the very beginning of the sequence, she performs a nice little dance, which earned her thousands of likes in just a few seconds. But suddenly, the camera drops and records the voice of a young woman screaming while filming several blurred images of the crane equipment before the broadcast stops. This incident leaves the subscribers of Chao Kaomi very perplexed. However, very quickly, the news of the death of the young star of social networks made the rounds of the media. While she was filming herself in selfie mode, her phone fell, and it was while trying to catch it that she fell more than 43 meters high, leaving her no chance of survival. Now, although hundreds of thousands of subscribers have expressed their sadness at the tragic end of Chao Kaomi, they unfortunately cannot give back her two children, now orphans, their mother, Bastien Palmier is a 33-year-old Frenchman bursting with life. November 2019, he is going on a trip to Thailand. His goal is to reproduce all the beautiful photos of his Instagram idols in this country full of breathtaking scenery. So he is touring the country, visiting its multiple temples, sublime ruins, and crystal clear tropical beaches, taking each time selfies as beautiful as the other. In his quest for the perfect selfie, our young Frenchman continues his journey to the waterfalls of Nyam Yang on the Thai island of Koh Samui, a spot known to be one of the most Instagrammable in the country. Although the local authorities have set up a security cordon and warning signs to deter tourists from approaching the edge of the waterfall, our budding influencer ignored them. So, armed with his smartphone, he stepped over the security cordon and poses to finally capture the most beautiful selfie of his trip to Thailand. Unfortunately, he slips on the edge of the waterfall and falls more than 70 meters below. His shredded and lifeless body is then floating face down in the water of the natural pool of Nam Yang. Thus, the young Bastien Palmier becomes the second tourist to perish in the same place for the same reason in the same year. After the Spaniard David Rocamunde, a young man of 26 years who died a few months earlier while trying to take another selfie to death. Let's hope that this second death is not in vain and that the local authorities redouble their vigilance in this place, which seems to be very dangerous. Three bubbly teenagers with smiles on their faces in this photo are Essa Ricker, 15, Kelsey Webster, 15, and her little sister Savannah Webster, 13. The three young girls who are just looking for a good time together are not expecting what will happen to them just a few seconds after the selfie. Especially since this day is very exciting for this trio. Indeed, during this day on October 2011, these three ladies spend the day in picturesque Canyon of Spanish Fork in Utah. They are very happy to hang out together while enjoying the breathtaking scenery of this, this exceptional natural site. They walked around talking about everything and anything until they came to a railroad track. There, they decided, like all teenagers of their age, to take a selfie and post on social networks, share their happy day with their friends, stand on the railroad tracks and take their famous selfie, where they look happy. Unfortunately, they are so focused on taking the selfie that they didn't hear the train's horn and don't pay any attention to its headlights, which create a kind of halo in their selfie before it hits them at over 85 kilometers per hour three girls died instantly, joining the long list of people who died for a selfie. However, the tragic accident was promoted as a safety campaign launched by Union Pacific Railroad to raise awareness of the danger of taking selfies on the tracks. Inakshi Murthy and Vinshu Viswanath, an Indian couple living in the United States, they are together It is because they have the same hobby, travel. After their marriage, they started to travel the world in search of the most beautiful destination. 
Nakshi, a talented writer, and Vishnu, a talented amateur photographer, decided to create a blog and an Instagram account called Holidays and Happy Ever Afters, where they share their adventures. Very quickly, the beautiful photos they post earn them several thousand followers, which allow them to realize their dream, visit more and more breathtaking places. This is how the couple finds themselves on October 30th, 2018, Yosemite National Park in Sierra Nevada, California, where they go to Taft Point, panoramic viewpoint, more than 240 meters above sea level. It is also where they try to take a sublime selfie to immortalize once again their trip. Fortunately, this selfie signs the end of the adventure of the couple, which finishes at the bottom of a cliff. Think a few months before their death, Nakshi warned his readers about the dangers of taking pictures in potentially deadly situations. Writing, is our life worth just a photo? Fortunately, she is no longer here to answer that question. This young woman is Gigi Wu, a 36-year-old Taiwanese climber. She became known on social networks, where she accumulated several thousand followers under the alias of Bikini Climber, before putting herself in small clothes to take breathtaking selfies on several hundred peaks around the world. It is precisely in her quest for adrenaline that Gigi Wu begins in December 2019, a solo excursion, several days in the Yushan National Park. And she is very quickly served since this site houses the highest peaks of Taiwan. She then climbs a mountain of more than 4,000 meters altitude. Once she reaches the peak, she puts herself in a bikini to make another of her selfies out of the ordinary. Unfortunately, the young woman fell into a ravine. But since she has a satellite phone, she manages to contact the emergency services. However, the bad weather delayed the rescue operation, which caused the death of the bikini climber by hypothermia. What a sad end for this young woman full of energy who made her thousands of subscribers travel through the highest peaks of the world. On May 15, 20 tourists take a boat to go around a water reservoir in the center of the island of Java, Indonesia. The 20 tourists enjoy their sunny day on the boat. Some of them observe the beautiful landscapes, while others take nice pictures as a souvenir. Everything is for the best in the best of all possible worlds for this group of tourists. Indeed, this small cruise goes even better than in their dreams until they decide to take a selfie in group. The 20 passengers then take place on the right side of the boat, which makes it lose its balance and suddenly flip over. The terrible incident led to the drowning of seven tourists in the group. Let's hope that the 13 survivors have learned their lesson and the next time they will take the time to think before putting themselves in danger for a miserable selfie. It is January 3rd, 2021, when Nirupuma Prajapata, a young Indian girl, goes with her friends to Sundargar, a famous picnic spot in the region, to enjoy the nice weather. After a few hours in the sun, she stands along a waterfall to cool off, when suddenly she has the idea to immortalize this magical moment, taking a selfie in the exceptional setting. As we can see in this sequence, unfortunately, the man that moves behind her stumbles and makes her lose her balance, making her fall in the rapid. This is how this relaxing day turns into a real nightmare. And it is only after 22 hours of research that the firefighters finally manage to find the lifeless body of the young woman in a rock cavity about 400 meters from where she fell. That's how another selfie of death has left another family in mourning. In July 2019, the English couple Daniel Mee and Jaden Dolman go on vacation to Spain. The two men, 20 and 25 years old, have chosen this destination to enjoy the beautiful Mediterranean sun along its golden beaches of exception. They settled in the seaside resort of Punta Prima in the region of Alicante, where they had a great time swimming and sunbathing during the day and walking and partying in the evening. And it is precisely during a walk along the beach that the two British stumbled upon breathtaking scenery. It is a raised path on the seafront that offers a breathtaking view of the ocean. They decide to take a selfie there, but to make it perfect, they go to the other side of the railing. Unfortunately, the two men quickly lose their balance and fall more than 12 meters high. Daniel died at the scene and Jaden the next day in the hospital. A tragedy which affected the friends and family of the young couple who left far too early and especially for unnecessary risks. Tony Kelly is a 20-year-old globetrotter and influencer from New Zealand. What the bubbly young woman wants above all is to visit all the countries of the world while sharing her travels with her thousands of fans. 
The beautiful blonde then posts her selfies taken around the world, including the Electric Picnic Music Festival in Ireland, in California, in front of Big Ben or in Trafalgar Square. It is precisely during her visit to London in November of 2017 that she tries to take a selfie from the window of her hotel room on the second floor. A selfie that puts an end to the dreams of travel of the young woman since she stumbles and falls before dying in a hospital from serious brain injury. A tragic end for the young woman whose family donated her organs so that her death was not in vain. Sophia Chung is a 32-year-old influencer whose Instagram account has over 35,000 followers. The young woman, known to be always in search of extreme experiences, has the habit of sharing on social network selfies in very dangerous postures, including on rocks, by the sea, or suspended from the top of a cliff. It is precisely to quench her thirst for danger that she went last Saturday, July 10th, with to Hapak Lai Park, Hong Kong, known for its formidable waterfalls. And it is there that she attempts a perilous and ultimate selfie, which earned her a fatal fall of more than five meters high. Although Sophie Chung's friends immediately called for help and first responders quickly arrived on the scene, the young woman was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. A tragic and stupid end for those whose biography on Instagram says, life should be fun and not stupid. That was 10 people dead for selfie. Tell us in the comments which of these deaths surprised you the most. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon to get all notifications and not miss anything from our upcoming content.